Now, to qualify for our next Ninja Warrior special, you gotta have speed, you gotta have strength, and you gotta have lady parts. <laughs> Deadly lady parts. I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. <laughs> so freaking high. Oh my gosh, I have to cross that? Let's get off this thing. Wanna do the zip line? This is for the women of Ninja Warrior! Now Majori of it! Oh my god! Oh my god. Stealthy like a ninja. Please welcome Sarah Underwood, everybody! How are you, Miss Underwood? Good! Good one. Ninjas don't squeak. No, can you tell by all that training I had? Don't you think I did really good? I think you nailed it. I, I'm tuning in to see how well you did. But, but it, I mean, was that the bulk of your preparation? Was screaming in a in a forest, or was there like a, a rigorous training thing for running the course? Yeah. Well, the other girl that was with me was Maho Tanaka, and she is a ninja warrior, a woman of ninja warrior all star. Mm -hmm. So she took me to the bottom of Mount Fuji, and we did this training course that was intense and. Let me tell you, after doing that course and the actual Women of Ninja Warrior course, I was really prepared for it because it was very similar to Women of Ninja Warrior except mm -hmm. like 40 feet in the air. Right. So I was more than prepared. So extra element of fear as you're screaming and, and flailing yeah. about. Yeah. Uh, what, what do they, uh, like I'm always, in, like when people run Ninja Warrior, sometimes they go for crazy costumes, sometimes they're in the skin tight athletic gear. Your 2007 Playmate of the Year, <laughs> what exactly was that process like? Was well, there like a, a bit of a fashion show? Are we going to see that in a special? Did you try on different outfits? Yeah, or? I'm a girl. So, I mean, I try on like 20 outfits before I actually go out. I didn't know what I wanted to wear. I tried on all kinds of things. Like, I went from cowgirl to schoolgirl well, to superhero. Did you really consider running the course as Absolutely. Daisy Duke? Like, Absolutely. There, you should see the costumes that these people <laughs> run the course in. So That's going to snag and pull something. And it's going to be great television, but not a good trip to the ER. Well, I mean, this was my first time. I was like, I wanted to do it in style. I didn't know if I was actually going to do well. Well, don't spoil what you actually wore, but but spoil some of the course for me. Like, how is it different for women? Like, is it ball pits instead of water? And then it's like the the the, the log roll is replaced with a pillow fight. Uh -huh. No, it is just as hard as for the men. But they what are the Japanese pillows like? Are they softer than the American pillows? And do all the girls fight at once, or is it one at a time? <laughs> actually, now that you bring that up, this year instead of doing um. One person at a time in stage one. We, I had to compete against four or three other girls. What? Oh, yeah. you're all, oh, you're all you're literally running at the same time. All four people had to run at the same time, so <laughs> it made it really hard. And let me tell you, I had to go oh, against oh. a professional oh. arm wrestler, uh, an acrobatic person, some like professional frisbee player in Japan. A, a frolfer. And, and then me. <laughs> I, I was against like these crazy people. I was at the top like with the hardest, the, the best people because they kind of put like the people who aren't so good at the beginning. Right, the jokesters and the, yeah. and the celebs. Which they let them run together. I and... was hoping I was going to be. Right. <laughs> no. Well, but that might have, did that help you amp up your game when you're looking around and she's, you know, they're, they're doing. I was super intimidated. Really? Yeah. Were they sweet at least or were they, you know, like plucking their mustache hairs before the course yeah, and they compacts were like, and getting ready They were ready growling for... at me. Yeah, were they like frothing from the mouth yeah, and trying to intimidate you? Yeah, one even did like a front flip in front of me like as we came out. She, like everybody has a thing that they do. Oh, right yeah, there. awesome. Yeah. Everybody comes out and like does a thing. She does a front flip and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and you, you did the I didn't know what to do. So I did like the in vogue like model pose. I'm like, what, <laughs> what are my qualities? <laughs> I don't know. That is that is a sweet move. It's better than doing like a girly push up or something like that. At least you just sold it. So. I was like, oh crap. Were you, were you, without spoiling, were you, were you proud of your run? Um, I was all, I was pleasantly surprised with myself. Really? You are going to be surprised. Yeah, the Vogue may, maybe mm -hmm. makes it pretty far in the, the old course, huh? We'll maybe? Have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, it was your first time in Japan, right? First time. So, any, so like, it, was it like culture shock at all? Were you pre prepped for it? Uh, it's a beautiful culture. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've heard great things about it, but right. I didn't really the know how amazing it was. The trains and the tentacles and the drinking, was. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I didn't like was the food, and they had some gnarly <laughs> That's a pretty big there. part of Japanese culture, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I like 
liked it all except for the, the height and the sumo wrestling and the speaking in a weird language and whatnot. It was right, weird. Whatever, you know what I mean. You had a good time. It's though. crazy. Yeah, I had a blast. You see, look at all the crazy outfits that the people wore there. That's just a regular Japanese girl, Sarah. That's, she ran there's in nothing. That. No, no, no. She ran. <laughs> yeah, and the bugs. They had these crazy, crazy bugs there that were like this big flying around. It was well, cool. we're tuning in, in to watch it. I'm, I'm glad you braved the bugs and the back flippers. So thanks for coming on, Sarah, thanks to chat about it. Always a pleasure to see you. You're a doll and a half.